welcome to men in black <laughs> yeah leo nimevaa kama mtu anaenda kwa matanga kuna mtu ameniambia anakaa kama bouncer surely guys be kind man alafu mtu ameniambia anaka will smith will smith ni nini ni una check ya ni rangi tu ni rangi tu lakini tuki <laughs> Welcome to Obina Show Live. It's another beautiful evening to be with you over here on this show. We get to share with you inspirational stories, motivational stories and sometimes we bring you some intriguing conversations. On this particular episode, this lady came out of nowhere. Okay, no, she came out of Wasingishu, but <laughs> she took people by surprise. Her song is currently number 1 on YouTube. Trending at number one. Everybody's singing it. I've done the challenge. My kids have done the challenge. And I also know you have done the challenge. She is overbooked this December and January. Nayeni tips it. Sweet. Sweet mwa. Eh eh. Malisa vitita. Eh eh. Mara kwet dota. Yes sir. Chito alifanyia nini? Chito ni Malisa vitita. Chito ni Malisa. Hiyo tumejua we can we can actually get that information from the song. Yes. Uh, eh eh. Mm. Anafana na ajabu m describe. Ni kama wewe tu. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wewe! Ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo. Mimi leo nalala na viatu. Yes. Mimi leo sishi kiki. <laughs> <laughs> Umesema yes. chito ni kama mimi. Yes. Unajua watu kwa hiki pindi wanakonga menidharau sana. Mm. Wanonanga ati oh mimi si mali safi. Mm. Oh ni nini? Mm. Hebu ambie leo ajue. Wasikulete. Wewe msinilete mimi. <laughs> Sweet. <Nika>. Mwa. <laughs> Kwani watadu? Kwani mtadu? Mm. Umemaskia <laughs> nimeambiwa mimi ni mali safi. Yes. Eh so unasema mali safi chito, mm. sweet mwa then the other part. Minji minji lakwe. Eh hey, minji minji lakwe. Minji minji lakwe. Sweet. Eh eh. Minji minji lakwe. Lakwe ni nini? Lakwe ni mtoto. Eh. Meaning your your wife unaweza muita your wife lakwe. Yeah. It's a Kalenchin word. Eh eh. For you unaweza tumia kwa mke wako. Okay. Mke wako pia. Mimi sasa sina mke sasa. Eh tusa. <laughs> leo. leo. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Well, this is becoming interesting. Mke wako pia anaweza kukuimbia. Oh pia nite lacquet. Eh but this lady is to kiona wallet iko sawa ndio utapata hiyo mtu. Oh wallet kama iko sawa. Ndio una Kama imefura fura kidogo. Ndio tutakuja hapo. Minji minji. Minji minji ni peace ni pin ni Peace kawaida. No, I know peace. I know the minji minji. minji. Yes. Eh, yeah. So hiyo word watu wengi wanatumia ku describe ladies. Ah. Urembo ya mtoto msichana. Urembo kama minji. Yes. Akishwali. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So minji minji lakwet alafu sweet mwa. Hiyo eh. ni kiss. Sweet ni English word meaning eh. mtamu. Wewe. Yes. Eh. Ingo mo kiandika. Ulikuwa unafikiria nani? Mimi si kuandika. Ah, nilifunga 2021 26 January. Ulifunga. Kufunga yes. nini? Kufunga na kuomba. Mimi naimba oh. gospel songs. Nilianza na secular songs tuona interest mwezi wa 11. Okay. Baka 2017. Okay. Tare that fast. Okay. Nikaingia January 2018 na gospel songs. Uh-huh. So huwa najiweka kwa hali ya kufunga na kuomba. Oh, you fast and pray. Yes, so uh-huh. nilifunga na kuomba 26 20, 21 January mpaka uh-huh. 26 2022 eh, 2021 February. Uh-huh. In between your gap nikapewa the three songs. Malisafi ikiwa among the three. Ukapewa na nani? Na Mungu. Ah. Yangu inakujanga si fikiri yangu. Ehe? Yes. So ulifunga ukapata three songs so mali safi gani nyingine? Si hizi sema ju sija record. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love your innocence. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so hizo mbili au just record? 
mm. but ziko yes okay yeah, so malisafi ulipata kwa muonekano yes. like a vision yeah mara mingi tunaweza kuwa hivi tunaweza kuwa tunapiga story mm. but nitasikia ikiimbwa kama sauti simepangwa pamoja na beats na melody Huh? Yes, ama sometimes naweza sikia tu nisikilie hapa juu kwa kichwa changu. Ama nisikilie tu nikiwa kwa nyumba nasikia kama iko hapa juu. Inaimbwa. Eh. Mm. Na iwezi toka. Alafu sana sana sipewi na na stanzas. Napewa tu kama kama hii mali safi, hmm. mali safi ndio ilikuja pamoja na minji minji Ivo. Mpaka so solo. Mali safi. Eh, alafu ku respond Ivo na ikaishia hapo hizo zingine nikaziongeza. Oh. Alafu mara mingi hiyo yenye inakuja mwanzo naifanya kama chorus. Eh, hey, it was the first one ya ku. Yes, yes, hizo zingine zenye nitaongeza ni mastanzas. Okay. Yes. So, mali safi ikikuja ulikuwa wapi? Ulikuwa kwa nyumba? Nilikuwa Church ni. Hiyo ah, nilikuwa kwa nyumba. Eh. Uh-huh. Eh, sana sana nikifunga sitoki sana kwa nyumba. Okay. Na avoid ku interact na watu. Okay ama nikitoka nikatoka yes sababu lazima nitafute lakini sio sana okay eh naweza toka saa nane, ama nitoke asubuhi by saa nane niko nimerudi ni okay. relax alafu ndio kufunga na kuomba lazima ustaff oh eh so hauna hiyo nguvu sana ya kukaa kwa watu okay eh sababu so kutu kwa kwa ukuli yes kukula ni labda naweza fungua jioni okay. ni kunywa maji ifika mm-hmm. usiku ni kule snacks mm. na nilale snack But kwako ni nini snack kwangu naweza kula fruits ama ni kule like queen cake oh yenyewe hiyo ni snack unajua waluya mchele <laughs> ni snacks <laughs> chapati ni snacks <laughs> But chapati pia inakuwa soft si soft sana. Chapati ni kama ugali. Ni kama ugali. So wewe queen cake nini unafungua? Eh. And alafu, then alafu hiyo maji ni lazima. Ehe. Uh-huh. Fruits pia si sana ni ni ngumu ni avoid sana especially evening. Okay. Ni maziwa. All right. Yes. Maziwa fresh. Eish. Si mursik? Eh. Mursik yeah. for me ni kona ulcers. So ita oh. ita ni corrode kwa sababu sijakula. Okay. Na ni okay. fermented. Okay. Iko na hiyo ukali. So it was one of these occasions that Malisafi kakuja. Yes. Then ulikuwa tu kwa hao peke yako. Eh. Mimi sipati songs kama niko na watu wa Si niliwaambia, niliwaambia Umorio. Nili, I say I called it before we start recording. Suli so skali kwa menyamaza. Tunanganga tu hivi live. Aya ngurumisha. Ngurumisha baba. Finya hiyo kitu. Naona and I said it. Hmm. Kuna kishetani ina acute tuombe. Hmm. Utufungie na utuombe. Ninakataa katika jina la Yesu. Tunaanza tu hiki pindi. Ataanza kungurumisha hizi vitu ama sijui kamera sijui tafanya nini, sijui ni sound, mara ni light, mara ni mvua. Inaitwa satani kata. Satani Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> Shindwe. <laughs> eh, so ulikuwa kwa hao hmm. peke yako. Yes. Mali safi kakuja. Hmm. Ehe. Uliandika chini? Nikiandika inapotea. Ai? Yes. Siwezi so, andika immediately. Okay. But for now kwa sababu niko na simu ya kurecord na record tu na kuacha. Oh, una record the nini? But I will not review immediately. I give it time. Oh, una record hivi alafu unaendelea na live. Yes. Lakini kuna moja nilienda prayer center nikiombea ingine. Nilienda Mount Olive prayer center pale Ilula Eldoret. Okay. Juzi tu one month ago. Mhm. Uh-huh. Nikaiombea hiyo alafu nikaipangia ku record kesho yake. Uh-huh. Kuamka kesho yake nikapewa ingine inaitwa Ilepu. 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 Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so nikasongesha hiyo pia kwa sababu niliimba kama nina, niliamka kama ninaimba like kuimba kabisa. Imekuja tu. Eh sasa nikachanganyikiwa sijui niende ni record yenye nimeenda kuombea ama ni record hii yenye imekuja asubuhi nikapigia rafiki yangu nikauliza yeye unapenda songs zangu fashion gani jumi naimba fashion yote hata ama piano kaniambia napenda 
yenye umeimba na traditional beats ndio nikaenda nikarekodi hiyo nikawaacha hii fashion nyingine eh uh. na hiyo pia intro yake ni kama imenipea breakthrough ya hii mali safi kwa sababu intro nilimuomba Mungu uh. nikaambia god niliambia nilisema protocol breaker you are not a scam ebeneza ebeneza mara tatu so ni kama hiyo intro ndio imenipea breakthrough uh-huh. yeah we hmm. wii rudi kwa mali safi yes uli ilikam ukaenda kwa studio nayo nilika it was 2021 Eh, Mali safi ilikuja 2021. Yes, ni ya 2021 na siku record. Nime record juzi. <laughs> A whole year. Two years. Ume relax tu nayo kwa simu. Eh, eh iko kwa simu. Uko nayo chorus tu yo Mali safi, uka relax. Aiyo akapela tu. Tena sauti iko chini. Si unajua tu ya simu yeah, na yeah. ni usiku sasa huwezi shout. Yeah. Alafu ni kitu na feature sababu hutaki iende nje mwingine aende nayo. Mali safi. Eh. Ha, eri hiyo. Yeah. <laughs> Kwani unaishi kwa plot? Yes, niko kwa rental. Oh, no, rental ni rental lakini like, unaweza plot like ile ya Juma Mabati ila tukicheck hapa huko next door nasikia. Hiyo siku nilikuwa bed sita. Ah, okay. So ukikonga ukuta una alert. Wenza. Ndio hiyo, hiyo tu kasema mali zapi wanasema eh? Anaimba nini hiyo? Hiyo <laughs> lazima whisper. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. So after one year when two you went years. to the two years when you went to the studio mm-hmm. what made you go to the studio to record it Ulikumaenda na maombi ama ulikuwa tu let me just go record something Unaona mali savi imekuwa na challenges nyingi Okay Then nilipata mali savi nikitayarisha ku record hiyo mwaka nikapata accident April 25 same oh. 2021 So sikuwai si nikakuja ku hiyo process ya healing ju nilikuwa nimeumia sana nikakaa nikaambiwa nikae for one year so the song itself ni ceremonial so ilikuwa inangoja 2021 november ni record sababu ni ya season ya shere hiyo mwaka ikapita sababu sikuwa nimepona na nilikuwa nimeadvisiwa nikae for one year 2022 november yake pesa ikapotea nika record tu singine nikaweka video singine yani ikawa nikawa tu na challenges challenges hakuna pesa hata okay. huu mwaka ungeenda bila mimi ku record mali safi sababu January this year nilikasirika nikaambia Mungu mimi na strike <laughs> siendi kanisa ukweli ukweli sijakanaka kanisa tangu January naambia <laughs> Mungu na kukanyakia that is the word nilitumia <laughs> Wala ni maliza. Yes. Uli jam na Mungu. Yes, niliambia na kukanyakia siwezi kanyaka mlango ya church. Mpaka ah. unipe gari langu. Sababu ninajulikana mimi ni msanii, wana expect life yangu ikue imebadilika. Sina nyumba. Yeah. Sina gari, sina ndoa. So nikaambia lazima na kukanyakia. Zak ni sadie na candles <laughs> niweke hapa <laughs> juu hapa naona tunakanyagiwa <laughs> So ni uh-huh. from January this year siku ya enda chat April Mungu akanikanyakia tena sina event mimi nafanya MC pia uh-huh. Siku pata hata MC So nikawa na lala ncha one week in a month na kul- eh, three weeks in a month na kula mzuri one week kwa mwezi moja the rest three weeks ni nja kusa five what is kukula mzuri pesa ya kununua chakula hata pesa ya kulipa rent ikakuwa okay. ngumu like nilikanyakiwa pia oh, Mungu amekukanyagia sasa muna mnangangana sasa kila mtu ame, nimemkanyakia ananikanyakia Wako <laughs> <laughs> Mungu ziendi kanisa Mungu akola ukuli yes e, tuone na ulipi rent na ulipi rent na uwezi va hii bed sita unaama leo <laughs> yes <laughs> for now eh. from this year niliingia from hiyo time Yo, ya accident kuna mtu alichipin akanilipia one bedroom so from there sikujiangusha nikachikaza kule, kuendeleza kulipa hiyo one bedroom what was the accident nilipata accident na bro box gari nilikuwa natoka church ku perform 
kurudi ndio nikapata accident gari kagonga gari nyingine hapana brake parts ilikuwa imeisha sasa uko kwetu ni mbaya brakes ndio inatumika kuliko mafuta Wewe na kwenu brake inatumika kuliko mafuta ni mteremko tu nika hivi sorry wewe ni hivi urudi tena hiyo ukiwa hapa unaangalia barabara ukiwa hapa unaangalia hivi ehe eh so itaki mgeni kwa nini wapi huko inaitwa tuturo 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 in marakwet east weka weka hapo weka hapo in marakwet east msalia na msalia moja <laughs> weka weka hapa chini weka hapa weka hapa weka hapa eh, easy <laughs> ni za house fly muta sema tumeweka pama juju sema ha buli 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 <laughs> marakwet dota amekuja tuka summon the gods hizo <laughs> <laughs> yes. wazi zinafukuza kama kuna house fly zina zinapotea mm. aya so probox brake pad imeisha ni ona drive mm. o iko na driver kulikuwa na driver ni wewe peke yake ndio client ah, tulikuwa five driver na na abiria wale. Okay. Yes. Amewatoa kwa church ku perform. Yes. Anatelemeka na akaturudisha. So mnatelemuka. The same car tulipata accident mara mbili kwa siku moja. Same day. Same car, same day, same abiria. Sasa tukienda kwa hiyo story utashtuka. Eh? Sababu story ya asubuhi Menye tulipika mali inaitwa maina mimi ni mkale so hata nikisema tulipika usistuke ni kupika ni kufika <laughs> ni kufika oh p f p m f ya yeah, wako sawa tuendelee yeah, yeah. yes. tulipika hii ni deep state wewe ongea vile unataka wewe ni serikali yeah. na serikali na nenyoa emet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. so menye tulifika hapo Mwenye alikuwa mbele akamwambia driver twende njia ya juu. Mwenye anaitwa njia Nyirar ama Maina. Okay. Mimi nikasikia uzito fulani ndani ya roho yangu. Nikamwambia kama hiyo ndio njia tunaenda, munishukisha hapa. After all, mimi niko nyumbani, tukutanie huko. So ikabidi driver akaweka gari kando na akaambia huyo sikizana na mara kwa tedota. Mimi nikamwambia sikuogopi, wewe ni mwanamume lakini sikuogopi twende yenye mimi nimesema so ikabidi akamshika driver hivi na akaambia twende yenye tume ni amesema tukaenda like only 7 minutes tukapata accident ya kwanza asubuhi saa saa nne na kitu so yeye yenye nili insist kulikuwa na mawe kubwa ama jiwe kubwa iko ime imechungulia kwa barabara hiyo ikatusaidika kwa break yetu lakini tungeenda ile ilikuwa forest tunge roll tu hakuna kitu ingetuzuia oh so hii accident kwanza ilikuwa nini like what happened the gari ile lose break tu yeah na ikaenda tu oh gari kaenda free nikaenda ku roll haiku roll mawe iliwasaidia kwa hiyo mawe ndio hmm. ikakuwa break yetu so hii ni barabara yenye uli recommend yes sasa mkufuata ile nyula alikuwa anasema yes wali ilibidi wafuate yangu juu niliongea na uzito na ukali Okay. Ya umara inasaidia. Ama, ama, <laughs> ama passenger wengine wanasema nini? Walinyamaza tu. Na huyu msali alikuwa nani? Huyu mwekwa anasema fuatie njia nyingine. Acha nisiseme sana. Oh. Ni chito. Hapana. Tulikutanisha tu watu wa different tuseme kila mtu ako na service yake. Oh, eh, ni service tanisha... provider. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Aya. So yeah. mkaji support kwa hii mawe ya muku roll anything. Mm. Yeah. Alafu kutoka kwa mawe tulika hapo for two hours. Gari ya JK ilikuwa inabeba CEOs walikuwa wana launch malaria tot wakatupata na wakanijua kama mara kidota wakatusaidia. One of them ya yeah, our clinical officers walikuwa na alikuwa na probox so alikuwa anaelewa akaingia kwa gari aka notice kwamba breakfast imeisha hata akamkombanisha driver akaambia yeye tu driver ni mwenye gari alikombolewa akamkombanisha akaambia yeye wewe unawaacha breakfast ni ni breakfast capsule na ni 1000 na una risk lives ya watu wa wenyewe 
Yes, but akatupeleka huyo clinical officer sasa akabeleka akapeleka gari mpaka TSOI center 1 akatuitia okay. mechanic mwenye anamuelewa na mwenye anamsaidianga yeye. Okay. Huyo jamaa akatusaidia lakini aka insist kwa huyu mwenye gari akaambia yeye wacha ni kuorganize gari nyingine ipeleke hao watu wafanye kazi wa, wanaenda. Alafu ni kuundia gari tutumanishe brake parts 1000 ni kufungia na ni kupeleke ni hakikisha gari ni smart na ni warudishe mpaka hapa. Alafu mkuje muendelee na safari. Sasa ni ile tu ya hali ya ubinadamu akutaka kuchukua advice. So ikabidi aunde vile iko tukaenda. Mm. Kufika huko hata mimi nikamkombanisha nikamwambia yeye ungeteka advantage wakati sisi tuko kwa feel tengeneza gari. Nikamtafutia mtu namjua but jamaa akawa very rude. Akuitikia so kurudi Mimi nimejua gari yangu mm. unaniambia nini wewe yes, yeah. kiburi tu ya ubinadamu So hii time ukiperform yeye amekatuka gari anaangoja Ako tu ki, kwa kipanda yenye tuliutengenezewa kama wageni Pia amekaa na nyinyi hapo Yes hata tukikombana nilikuwa hapo tu nikimgombanisha nikaambia utuheshimu Na brake pad amefanya aje Kuna I, si huyo jamaa wa mechanic tu amejaribu jaribu kuunda tu kiwango Amekaza kaza tu tena Eh sasa utafanya nini So jioni kurudi tukafika mahali naitwa AIC to throw. Sasa naelewa hiyo area kwa sababu kuna one of my sisters alikuwa huko mwenye ali, alipatanga accident ya landslide akapasa na watoto wake wote. Familia yake yote. Oy. So nilienda tukipeleka mwili nikaenda nikalala huko nikainteract na watu na nikajulikana huko na nikajua area sasa nikajua chini yake jo nimeanza kuona gari inaanza kuswing awezi control Nika, nilikuwa najua mahali tunaenda next nikaambia tukifika hapo elekeza juu kwa ukuta usimame ni waonyeshe kwa ule sister yangu lengo langu ni mdanganye juu yako na kiburi awezi simama nishuke niambie nyinyi muende tu sasa kufika hapo hakufanya hivyo sasa venye tunataka kupita mlango ya huyo sister yangu get jamaa wa boda from nowhere akatokezea wa left mali mimi nilikuwa nimeketi nilikuwa left side ya driver e side numa so huyo jamaa akachomoka tu ni kama anaruka na akani aka, aka point hivi kuni point nani aka point huyo jamaa wa boda kuni point hivi gari ikashika brakes ha huh? ikasimama yes So akaniambia shuka akuachilia mkono. Kaniambia shuka unitolee kitu kwa chicho. Tulikuwa tumefunga vio na nitinde. Kila mtu akateremsha juu ilikaa weird. Nikauliza yeye mimi ama wanaume wenzako. Akaniambia wewe. Tukanyamaza. The rest four wakaniambia we shuka tu. Nitolee kitu kwa jicho. Sasa si bado amekwama nimtolee kitu kwa chicho. Okay. Sasa hawa waka respond we shuka tu. So nikafungua mlango. Kukanyaka chini hivi na hii left leg. Akafurahi sana huyo jamaa. Mimi nikasimama na nikaambia yeye hebu leta hiyo chicho yako maana wewe umekuja sana bwana. <laughs> <laughs> Unakani kama unakuwa na kivua. <laughs> Nimekuwa na venye unaongea ongea hapo unasema unataka unapeleka sana wanaume. Ni umarao imenibeba sana. <laughs> Sasa yeye akasema ndio hii. Nikakaribia so, kuona. Alishuka kwa pikipiki yake. Hakushuka, alishika pikipiki yake na left hand. Akalim. Na, aka, na aka, aka kanyaka chini na hii right leg hmm. na akaachilia mkono na aka smile sana. Na ni muansa huyo jamaa Eh hey, yanakaa mingi mingi. Kunywa kunywa juice, kunywa juice, kunywa juice kidogo. Kunywa juice kidogo wewe. Wara kwa tota. Na kuona sana. Nimekuona huko. Hebu kunywa juice ya miale kwanza usikii kwaje. Ko sawa? Hiyo ndio ulikuwa unataka. Niko sawa eh. Safi. Nakaa mali safi. Eh sawa huyu mali safi kwa boda umemcheki. Eh eh. So akaniambia ndio hii. Kuona kuna kidudu hapa nje na imekufa ndani yangu nikajiuliza si huyu angepangusa tu na aendelee na safari yake kuna ina force pia ikaniambia huyu ni mwanaume wacha kumuuliza maswali mingi 
sababu sisi wa mara kwetu pia tunafunzwa tuheshimu wanaume. Mm. So nikaenda distance kutoka hapa mpaka pale, nikatoa nyazi na nikauma uma, nikipenduka nikiona jamaa juu imenikalia si normal. Okay. Kurudi nikitaka kumtolea akashika maraid an hivi, kashikilia hapa juu. Na akaniuliza wewe unaenda wapi? Na ana smile very smart. Nikaambia naenda Eldoret. Kaniambia waachana na hao watu waende na gari yao, wacha nikubebe mpaka West Corner. West Corner ni Kapsoar. Ndio watakubebea huko. Nikasikia like nimekuwa relieved. Nikasikia like kuna kitu ime imenitoka. Okay. Nikamuomba nirudi kwa gari nichukue simu na baki yangu juu niliwacha simu. Nikaambia kama si simu singerudi ningaachana na wao waenda na back nitachukua mbele. Akaniambia sawa. Sasa nilipopenduka hivi nikitaka kurudia simu mwenye alikuwa amekaa karibu na mimi akaniita akaniambia Mili unatuacha hivyo. Nikaambia yeye uo sami tunaenda wote. Sababu hiyo voice yake ili change na ilikaa iko na huruma ingine huruma e, yani ilikaa ni kama ya, si, ni kijaribu kusema ni kama alikuwa ame sense tunaenda kukufa au sijaelewa mpaka leo yeah. lakini ili change tu ilikuwa na sauti ingine ngumu okay. nikaambia uo tunaenda wote na kweli nikarudi kwa gari na tukaenda wote like ukaka kwa gari nikarudi kwa gari si, si kuchukua simu juu za uko na huruma Juu ya vile huyu mtu ameongea <laughs> nikarudi na nikainuka tulikuwa watatu nyuma kutaka kufunga mlango ule jamaa amebaki pale pale ameshinda tu kuniangalia na kutoka na kuwahi patikana mpaka leo na sio boda e, na mjui na si, si mjui na si yeye alituokoa mwenye alituokoa ni mtu tofauti Haya, umerudi kwa gari. Mmeacha hmm. huyu malaika hapa kwa boda eh, boda. Yes. Gari kaza kuenda tena. Sasa ule driver si nilikuwa nimeinuka nataka nifunge gari kwa sababu tulikuwa watatu nyuma. Hmm. Nikaona kumbe alikuwa amekanyaga brakes kwa hiyo muda yote nikifanya hiyo mambo yote. Akaachilia brakes na akanyaka mafuta. Sasa gari ni kama imeenda juu. Hivyo venye alikanyaka tu hivyo hivyo ndio accident nikaendelea na tukaanguka. But wakati tumejua tunaenda kuanguka mimi nika nikaona tu mbele yangu yote imekuwa kio sioni tena ile kiti ilikuwa mbele yangu na sioni anybody hata driver ikakuwa kio alafu kuna matawi tuna tuna, 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 tuna semanga, natural tissue ilikuwa imeundwa hivi very smart ikaletwa mpaka ikanikuza hapa kunikuza sasa nikapoteza fahamu sasa mwenye alikuwa mbele yangu alikuja kana read story baadaye akasema aliniona nililelewa hivi na nikatolewa nje kwa hiyo gari before gari roll baada ya kufika chini gari ikakuja ingalipita juu alafu sasa ikaanza ku roll ikawaumiza hawa lakini kama hii ni barabara mimi niliwekwa tu hapa chini in fact vile wananchi walifika wakani rescue juu walikuwa wanajua ni mimi peke yangu nimebaki the rest wamekufa tuwalienda mbali sana ngoja mm. gari iko hapa yes ni mteremko yenye imekaa hivi kando ni slant huko ni slant huko juu ni mlima mlima huko ni slant but ni barabara yenye nenda round si ndio yes na ni lamu huyu jamaa amesimamisha hapa pikipiki mkaongea yes ukarudi kwa gari yes na huyu as... akawacha break yes gari ikakuja yes Alafu kata kurol. Yes. Eh, some distance tuseme kutoka hapa mpaka pale. Okay. Eh, tuseme like, like 100 meters tu. Like Do 100. Kuanza kurol. 100 meters ni refu. Yeah. 20. Eh, 20. 20. Eh, tuseme 25. kutoka hapa mpaka pale. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Gari kata kurol. So so inanguka kwa hii e steep. E steep, yeah. So ina Lakini kanitoa kwanza kabla ya. Wewe ukatoka roll. kwanza? Eh. Ndio yanza kurol sasa na wale. Na ukapoteza fahamu nilipoteza kabisa mara yangu yenye nilip... lakini wenye waliniokoa ati walinipata kama nimekaa chini lakini mimi sikumbuki hadi leo hii 
Ati mbaka naanza kuambia hawa, iyo bag ni yangu, iyo simu Galaxy J5 ni yangu, iyo CDs ni yangu, munitole iyo, iyo kulikuwa na shuka, nilikuwa nimefunga ya pink. Kambia iyo ni yangu, wakasanya yote. But simu wakasema, ni kama wali notice, ni kama naongea, lakini siji elewi, wakakutanisha simu zote, tukapewa badai. Lakini iyo, iyo, iyo bag na CDs, ili konfamiwa kwamba ni yangu. Ile probox si Carol mpaka huko chini. Wee, Wale watu wengine wote wako ndani. Sasa ilifika nusu ikatoa mwenye aliniona nikitolewa. Lakini ikaenda na ule mwenye aliniambia unatuacha hivyo mpaka mwisho. In fact alikuwa unconscious for two days. The driver? Driver pia aliumia lakini si sana lakini wenye nilikuwa nao ndio waliumia sana. Multiple fractures. Kuna mtu alifariki? Ah. Wote tuko tu na <coughs> kwa na maalama mingi mingi. We? So na feel ni Mungu alikuokoa kutoka kwa hii. That is why nilimkanyakia na nikaambia ule my like ulimtuma na pikipiki ya misave kwa accident nitumie ninunue gari huu mwaka na siingie kanisa mpaka unipe gari. Unataka gari? Yes. Nataka nimpigie pasta wangu huu mwaka niambie na kuja na gari unibarikishe na nianze kuendelea na kazi ya Mungu na niende kanisa. Maliza bidito ewe Okay ni gari gani ulikuwa unataka kukanyagia Mungu hivyo Sikio Sasa na safi yetu baba Sikio nilikuwa naambia Mungu anipea hata kama ni manual 110 to ni second hand hata 210 hata 200000 inaweza make lakini wenye amefanya Malisa viende nikaambia sasa nataka premium. <laughs> eh unanimaliza. Ulikuwa na Toyota 110 manual ni sawa. But sasa hizi imesonga sasa ni premium. Premium all model ama new model. Yeyote tu yenye nita. <laughs> Malisa vitito. Hey wait. <laughs> Aku na ni Maliza, na ni Maliza sana. Aya, so, uliku mekanyagia mungu mbaka April, sindio? Mm. Alafu kufika April, mungu pia mekanyagia upati mashu upati nini? Mbaka juzi Maliza vindio, akazi itrendisha. Oh, so yu time yote mungu alikuwa mekanyagia? Atra hiyo pesa ya kurekod Maliza vindio, adefanya connections mwenyewe. Juzi kukwa na pesa. So kimbie baba be intentional Sasa venye ilifanyika ndio nikapata pesa ya kurekod Kuna rafiki yangu amenilea sana kwa usanii mm. anafanya radio Sasa mama yake akapasi Sasa nilikuwa na moyo wa kuwa support but pesa ikapotea mpaka okay. siku ya barrier siku ya barrier nilikuwa na 91 shillings fulisa jioni nikaomba sana nikaambia Mungu lazima nifike hiyo barrier mtanga ilikuwa wapi kwa kaptuli huko ile kio market sasa nikaamka asubuhi nikakunywa maji ani kaenda kwa barabara Sasa nikaambia Mungu nipe lift mpaka hiyo Kafturi Center hii na ndio one shillings nilipie boda nifike huko Nitakaa tu awas kwa barabara kama sijapata lift After hiyo nika Lori ya blue ikakuja. Nikasimamisha ikasimama. Kufika huko nikamjua mwenye Lori. Mwenye Lori ni kijana ya wazazi wengine walikuwa wamezeeka sana. Kanisa Katholiki wakaamua kufungulia hawa ndoa ya e, sacrament ya ndoa. Sasa wako na pesa juu community waliamua tu 
kuwa support wafunguliwe juu mama alikuwa eight five years baba alikuwa eight eight years wakaniambia we kuja tu juu mimi nafanya mc wakaniambia katikista wa hiyo chacha kaniambia we kuja tu utafute mate ya baraka sisi hatuna pesa yeah. juu ni community wame wamechangia hii sherehe mimi nikawaacha kazi ya 20000 nikaendea hiyo mate ya baraka so bila nilipata huyu kijana wa huyo wa hiyo au wazazi three years down the line nikafurahi na yeye akafurahi tukaenda kufika kaptuli penye nilikuwa nashuka mimi nikaambia yeye sina pesa akaniambia Mungu ametubarika tuko kama siku ile ukikuja kutusaidia akanitumia 1000 nikaenda bari vizuri oh wow eh na akupea lift na akakupea mpaka 1000 eh na akaniambia jioni ukikuja kwa sababu niliulizia hao wazazi okay. ushano mzuri ulianza from there mm. akaniambia nikaulizia kuogoa naendeleaje akaniambia ukirudi jioni unipigie ndio nikuambie habari zake na koko na kuka so kumbe koko alipas akutaka kuniambia saa hiyo jioni kurudi nikamtafuta akaniambia kuja mpaka mahali fulani kufika walikuwa kwa gari na brother yake sasa waka break the news na akaniambia hiyo siku saa hii tumebarikiwa tuko tena kama siku ile ukikuja kutusupport akaniongezea 2000 sasa nilikuwa nime kwa ile 1000 ya asubuhi nilikuwa nimekula 500 usikuwa nimekula kabaki 500 nikaongeza hii 2000 nikakuwa 2500 nikaenda kwa producer wangu huyu Eldo Records anaitwa Roba amekuwa akini record tangu kitambo sana wakati nilikuwa secular music nikaenda nikajielezea so huwa ni mtu ananielewa ana recording na 5000 batakaniambia huwa anatupea over wenye tumesimama na yeye juu yeye pia alikuwa na historia yake challenges zake but tulisimama na yeye sasa huwa anatukatia every year kama appreciation watu wenye wamesimama na yeye akaniambia sawa acha nikupea over yako uhesabu kwamba nimekumalizia ofa yako ya hii mwaka na tukafanya so hiyo saturday jioni tungefanya hiyo usiku si nimerilisa hawa watu wenye wameni support So mambo tu ikakuja kuja hivyo mpaka kaniambia wacha tu mimi ndio niliambia wacha tufanye Monday juu niliona vile ilikuwa inaenda nikaona hapana ita make tukaamkia Monday ya asubuhi same Monday pia watu wake yale wakawa ni kama wanataka kumsumbua but Mungu akaifanya mambo yake mpaka tuka record hiyo Monday ya asubuhi akaniansia kwa sababu ameni postpone tangu Saturday usiku yeah yeah tukafanya hiyo wimbo Monday asubuhi bai kitu kama saa tisa nilikuwa nimetoka studio saa hiyo nime record song nimebaki sina pesa natembea kurudi home ninaishi hiyo ndore mimi huwa nategemea lift so nilikuwa najua tu narudi barabara na ngoja yanga ikue usiku kidogo hmm. ndio niombe ombe lift na ninapatanga Uzuri ya Mungu pia ananipea hao watu wazuri. Ndio <laughs> <laughs> like wewe kawaida yako nataka kwenda wapi waje ngoje lift. Na yeye anaenda tu kusimama kwa baba. Unataka mchana kwa nini? Sababu naibika kidogo. Oh. Lakini nikikujanga tawi pia nategemea lift. Okay. Eh na sasimama kwa barabara hata 2 hours ama hata 40 minutes sometimes nakunya mapema sometimes inachelewa. Eh hata chakula ningeoka tu vizuri nikuje nikae tu kwa hoteli nichifanye niko bisi na simu na natafutanga yenye kona na wifi napata tu mtu anakwambia kunywa chai <laughs> ukweli eh, mm. unaka tu hoteli una tumia tu wifi 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 mpaka mm. eh waambie kunywa chai hapo tukikuwa na mandazi na safari nayo wa wow. mm. si Mungu anakupigania sana Ehe so umetoka unarudi au una pesa nikaenda kwanza kwa mwenye ananiwekeanga songs kwa YouTube nikaambia ndio hii song nime record mpya audio eh mm. sasa akaniambia huwa nikimpelekea songs ananiambia mapema hii hakuna mahali inaenda ah eh sasa mpaka nikawa <laughs> nimnamlalamikia <laughs> eh 
<laughs> Which yeah. friend is this? <laughs> friend hata ni kama tu baba yangu juu ni mtu mkubwa sana. Oh. Mm. Anasikia hivi anamwambia hii hakuna mali inaenda. Anaangalia tu hivi. Eh. Amezeeka so macho kidogo na amekaa kwa kompyuta sana. Ah. So kidogo mpaka afanye hivi. Kumbia hii wachana naye. Hii hakuna mali inaenda. Akwambia hivi unafanya? Na reactingi anasomanga mood yangu ni mkubwa siwezi nikamchibisha but there was a time niliambia yeye juu kuna song yangu inaitwa tororot inaimba hivi vera tororot iri nirinda kusangwa ngongo acha minya yeso vera tororot iri nirinda kusangwa ngongo acha minya yeso hiyo pia ilinifanya nijulikane kidogo mm. so ananiambia hii haiwezi toa tororot sababu hiyo iko na 1.1 million views in 3 years sasa mimi sometime kidogo before mali safi nikaambia yeye kila siku wewe utakangi song itoe tororot wacha kuamini tororot sana nataka utoe hiyo imani ya tororot mm. sasa venye nilimpea mali safi Venye ametoa kwa simu akiweka kwa kompyuta akaangalia hivi na akasonga kidogo na kurudia kuangalia hivi na akaniambia unalalamikanga kila siku kwamba nimeweka imani kwa tororo. Hii hmm. imengoa tororo. Hmm. Nikasikia raha. Nikamuuliza kwa nini na ujasikia song? Hmm. Akaniambia jina. Itauza hii song. Oh jina. Yes. Nilikuwa nimeandika tu mali safi peke yake. Yeye ndio aliongeza chito. Oh. Yeah. Eh. So nikaambia yeye jina akasema eh jina itauza hii song. Nikaambia yeye fungua usikie message bas kama itaandamana na jina. Kaniambia message aitaniingia hata jina ndio itauza. Hata message kiwe vile itakuwa jina, jina. itauza hii wimbo. Na akafungua akasikia tu mali sa vichito eye uwe mali sa vichito akumalizia akatapio hiyo mouse eh. na kaniambia imeenda <laughs> kwanza alitumia left hand eh. imeenda imeenda eh na kaniangalia hii mimi nikacheka sasa akaanza kutoa picha yangu nikamuonyesha picha ndio napenda kuweka audios kwa youtube inasaidia watu wa maridio kutoa ko play new song. Okay. Si kama kushare kwa WhatsApp ama yeah. kutuma kwa email. Ni faster kutoa kwa channel yangu. Yeah. So wakati alikuwa kwa harakati ya kufix hiyo pix picha na ku upload nikaanza kushare kwa sababu nilikuwa nimejua song zangu hazina impact hata niliwahi ambiwa na mtu Facebook juzi tu mwezi wa saba. Aka comment kwa channel yangu account yangu Facebook kaniambia umeaji ulisa kwa nini song zako hazina impact So nikajua song zangu hazina impact na nimeimba for long na watu hata wenye wameanza wanaweza trend na wanaweza nyuma yako wanapita hata wa drive hata mm. wame, wanaishi vizuri mimi bado niko pale pale yeah. So nikashare share kama document WhatsApp Nikaanza na the first five one of them alikuwa rafiki yangu TikTok na tujaye onana na ni dem nikashare after one hour ah uh-uh, yeye after one hour kaniuliza hii song ni kali nifanye challenge TikTok nikaambia eh hey, mimi nikijua mimi hakuna mali naenda akafanya challenge after two hours akanikol akaniambia kimbia TikTok fanya challenge juu song imesonga imepata views imepata challenge sitaki watu wafikirie song yangu do nimekutak but ni vizuri pia hata channel yako iko post so kwa sababu nilikuwa bado kwa penye nataka tu, niweke youtube nikachukua picha yangu na nikaitumia kama challenge kwa account yangu mm-hmm. but kwa channel yake ndio ikasonga mpaka leo hii iko na 200 and something thousand challenge yes hata yangu iko huko Yes. Nilichanganya. Nilicheki. Thank you. Ulichanganya. Nilichonga nayo huko mbaya sana. Alafu zana. fans wananitumia tu. Obina, Obina. <laughs> eh, nilikuwa. Mimi nilimaliza. I listened to the song I was like, "Where?" Yes. 
Mimi nilisikia. Baka ukaenda live na ukasisitiza ukaongelelea. Ndio hiyo. Asante sana. Karibu sana. Barikiwe Karibu. sana. Karibu. Hata niliponiambiwa unanitafuta eh. nilifika kwa haraka sana. <laughs> asante. Because nilitaka pia nirudishe heshima. Asante. Niseme asante. Asante. Kongoi. E kongoi missing. <laughs> <laughs> eh. So uka post watu wakaanza kuongea. Yes. So Venye imeenda hivyo nikaweka YouTube hiyo audio. Audio. Tukiamuka kesho yake TikTok inasonga, audio inasonga yenye haijawahi fanyika kwa songs zangu. Audio haijai tembea vile ilitembea ilipata views kabisa. Yeah. Sasa nikaanza kufikiria nitafanya aje hii song ime trend kwa account ya mtu. Sina pesa ya kuweka video. Nikampigia jamaa anaf, anaitwa Chris Kipsang anatoka Keyo. Tulijuana na yeye kitambo juu yeye ni mtu wa media yeah. nafanya na TV fulani. Yeah. So nikampigia na alinifanyia video ya ile pung na nilimuongelesha na akachukua pesa nilikuwa nayo hiyo kidogo tu. Nikamuongelesha nikaambia ibu enda yu TikTok ya fulani uangalie vile inasonga na uende YouTube yangu vile hiyo audio inasonga. Yeye pia ako na big heart. Juni yeye pia alinisaidia ndio nikatoka hospitali juni lishindwa na bill wakati nilipata accident. Mm. So yeye aka reach out kwa watu wa social media mpaka aka reach out kwa watu wa magazeti nikawekwa kwa gazeti akawa anasukuma sukuma kila mahali mpaka ikafikia watu ndio wakachipin wakani support. Yeah. Nikaambia vile ulinitoa hospitali nitoe hapa venye niko. Akasema ni sawa lakini itabidi tupange sababu niko kwa kazi ya wenyewe. So tukaipangia on Wednesday haikuingiana jumdosi wake pia alikuwa na mwitaji kwa kazi. Okay. Ikabidi to fix on Friday pia alikuwa na kazi lakini kwa sababu atakuwa na pesa ikabidi akaniambia twende Kamarin Forest ikue karibu na kazi yake na tukaenda only 30 minutes sababu atakuwa na pesa ya kulipa venu ya kushuti so So tukaenda kamarin for 30 minutes ndio akimbie kazi juu kamera pia anatumia ni ya wenyewe. Na inangoje waifanye kazi ya TV. So tukaharakisha hiyo tukatembea mguu mpaka kamarin. Lakini nilipata lift mpaka naishi Eldoret ya naishi tena. Mimi nikapata lift mpaka penye nashuka nikamgoja hapo tukatembea mguu mpaka huko na tukarudi na mguu. Watu wawili tu kambi haya twende simama <laughs> katika kidogo yes. haya kaa chini yes. unena mali umekaa chini hivi listen to only four clips mbili yeah. nimesimama mbili nimekaa chini ehe yeah. na def, na nguo ni mbili tu sasa si kwa na pesa yeah. akaniambia fanya hivi nilete nguo yenye hata kama imechapa najua vile nitaifanya nikachukua moja alafu kwa hiyo tuki kwa harakati tuki nini nikaomba mtu 1000 nikanunua dress ya 850 hiyo ndio ikakuwa na zile viatu viatu ni nilikuwa nayo kwa nyumba hapo kuna mpaka nyingine imeangiwa hivi kwa nini ile kiatu hiyo sasa huyu eh. video man ana shooting video za mashere ah. so akachukua clips akaenda akapiga simu kwa mwenye shere isituletee shida ah. na akamuomba na akakubali naona kuna hata sijui ni keki yes alafu ina champagne eh sasa hiyo ni venye ya mtu mmoja yenye yeye mwenyewe alipikia simu na alishoot akamuomba na akakubali nasema asante kwa mwenye alikubali mm. hata alireach out venye song ile trend akaniambia hata mimi na trend na mali safi <laughs> <laughs> akafurahi sana uh-huh. yes haya muka shoot akaenda wewe ukaenda eh. kuomba lift yako ukarudi yes alafu nikamuomba aedit hiyo usiku juu ilikuwa suppose akae kazi mpaka jioni saa 12 kutoka kazi akaingia akaedit mpaka saa tisa ya usiku akaniwekea kwa simu kama link nikaenda kwa ule mtu wa YouTube hey. asubuhi saa saa moja tulikuwa town Eldoret town sasa yeye mwenyewe hakukuwa lakini watu wake watoto wake wa kazi walikuwa hey. tuka upload na watoto wake wawili msichana na kijana tukangangana juu wao pia waelewi sana lakini tukangangana mpaka saa 12 saa sa mm. Saturday asubuhi tuka upload alafu tukaanza kuchunga sasa tuone vile inaenda 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm on time. Yes. Wacha tuone. Unaona vile inaenda. Eh. Juni asubuhi eh. ni weekend, watu wanaenda kwa mashere, watu eh. wako kwa familia zao, hakuna eh. mtu hako na shughuli na YouTube. Ehe. Uh -huh. Wewe wacha ikasonga. Ah, tukafurahi by saa 9. Nikaambia Mungu asante. Oh, yani ilikuwa na songa tu mkiona? He. Kwanza yeye ako na computer nne. So kila computer tukaweka on na ikiisha tunarudia. Ni tunataka views. Ai. <laughs> Tunaanza kuchunga kila mtu anachunga bili mbili tu. Cheza nayo, cheza nayo. Yes, mmoja ametoka eh. tumebaki wawili. Eh. Yeah. Na tuka reduce think, volume. I think 1000 views za hiyo ngoma ni yangu. Kwa nyumba yangu, kwa yes. watoto wangu. Yeah. Tu me dance, tu me dance. Kwa hivyo kwa channel yao, yeah. I think it has not gone live yet. Yeah. But when I did the challenge, wali kuwapo, wakana mewa nda kufanya, nikuambia, wali kufanya, nini ufusa vizuri. Yes. Ina chezo kwa YouTube, wana rudia, wana imba, wana dance. Kwa hivyo, wana mwa. Si, 1,000, nata mwa dami. Eh, eh, yuki yes. tume loop kwa nyumba. Kume pia nyinyi huko, Eldoran kwa saiba pia nyimu kwa hapo. Mm. Loop the thing. Eh, eh. So. Satisa imefika views ngapi? Uwe. Kwa hivyo, Siku peke yake, hmm. tulipata 60,000 plus view. Iyo, iyo song ilianza na 60,000 first day. 60,000 views? Plus. After two days, it can say 100,000, 100,000, 100,000 for like five days. I love it, it can shoot. 162. Kuna siku wata ili, ili 200,000 views in a day. Hebu ngoja kidogo. <laughs> Sayi tukona 2.1 million views Ay, in one month. Tuko 2.1. Yes. Confirm. Tuko 2.1. Million. Comments ni 4.3 thousand. Yes. Likes. <laughs> Likes tuko 38k. Yes. Hey Kwenye mara kwetu dota. Kwanza ijawai fikisha 38k in, in a month. Hebu ni angalia hizi vimbo zingine. Angalia. Mali safi audio iko 50k, mara kwa dota ingine iko 14k, mara kwa dota ingine iko. Na unaikaka namba yako ya simu. Eh hey, sababu hakuna <laughs> eh. mtu anaangalia sio hata hakuna hasara nikiweka namba. <laughs> yeah. Na kwa hii mali za vijito au kuweka namba? Niliweka. Iko. Eh, iko. Eh hey, angalia. Hebu ni angalie. <laughs> Iko oh, iko, 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 eh, iko. Mbaka ya skiza tu. Iko. Yes. Eh. He, he, he. Aya, tunendelea. Hmm. Oh, kuna zingine zikona 900, 500, hmm. 300, hmm. eh, 1.6. Kama ingina inaitua rurotu mdo. Sidani hata kama ina, 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 ina shikana na odo ya mali safi. Eh. Kuna inyi kwa nata na tengei temi gei Daniel. Sijui for one year ama two years hata. Eh. Eh. Hmm. Tor, toro, 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 Na kuwamia mali safi iko 2.1 million views. In a month. And kuna, yeah, this one, this kuna, one was the nini. Yes. This one was the... Hile kukanyakia, nilikanyakia mungu, aliona e, wacha tu mungu. nirilizu yu waende. Na kuwambia ma comments pia ziku hapa, what a vibe. Yes. They all kisses in Tel Aviv well represent. Baka wakisi wa kuku. Baka wabungoma wanasema USA bungoma. USA bungoma. <laughs> You are song just United Kenyans, which is true. Do you know that happened? Iyo, iyo kwa comment, iyo ya kuminite. Yes, yes. Ime sink kwa roo yangu. Na ninyambia mungu wa sante. It did, because Kenyans were going through a lot. You know the economic situation. Yes, And yes. then Malisa Fika toka from nowhere. Alavu ni ya mukale. Alavu watu wako, so watu wana kupost watu wawo. Malisa Fika, watu pia wanajiweko. Manjua pia lazima ujitume. Yes. Eh, hey, ala mini liweka hapo, uniweka. Uliweka hey, kitu kali. Kitu ingine. <laughs> <laughs> Wani jue? Nilifurai, nilikuwa na tamaningi show yako. Eh, Sana. Sindo hitu kwa hapa? Yes. Eh, ona venye mungu anafanya. Eh. So, malisafi katoka, views inapanda, huu mzee alikuambia nini meongea tena na huu mzee wako wa YouTube, wako upload? Lazima niende huko juu wa kora wamekua wengi. Eh. Kuna wenye wameenda ku, ku, 
ku dance na ku upload vile iko kuna wenye wameenda ku record na ku upload vile iko na wanaandika jina yango mali savi chito by marakwet dota so uki search inakuletea yote na si mimi hizo zingine so yeye bado anachunga akingoa 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 tumeongoa mingi over 100 umeka kwa nini iko kwa spotify na the likes eh eh tutaongelele hiyo Oh, juu kama yeah. jeke unafaa uweke yeah. so that mtu yote akiupload hata yeah. kaiko kwa channel yao pesa inakuja kwako. No Sasa, wacha wa upload but pesa inakuja kwako. Sasa hiyo hmm. wenye uli reach out nikasema wewe ndio unanisaidia. Haya. Yeah. Yes. Nakupanga, usiogope yes. ndakupanga because yes. people will want to download it, people will want to stream it. Yeah. Inafaa iko hata ile msa kiamua itumie wapi hata China. Yeah. Pesa inakuja kwako. Sasa so, usiogope hawa na upload, wacha upload. Yeah. Wana market. Kuna mwenye ameenda ku record na katumia melodi yangu eh. but akaweka mambo zake so someone reach out na akaniambia usikuwe na wasiwasi mm. kuna venye unafanya pesa ikuje kwako wewe eh. mwenyewe una monetize yes yeah. una monetize so you eh. monetize hiyo yangu eh hiyo eh. nimemonetize usiangalie hapo but si imeanza bila imeanza bila ad iko Oh ndio hiyo. Ah, hiyo hiyo eh yuma. Kwanza mani. kama <laughs> ni kama pia <laughs> hata wanabiashara wanaona yenye trend mm. wana request YouTube wai market kazi zao. Wanaweka hapo i market. Yes. Eh. Yeah. 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 Wow. Eh 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 eh. Wow. Hey. Yeah. Lakini <laughs> Lakini kusema kweli hii ngoma hii. Ay ay ay. Now you know th- mm. this is what I normally say to some artists who are upcoming and also tell myself. Mm. Because like myself I've done over 50 music videos. Mm. And there is no single music video I've spent less than 100,000. Sasa hii yangu ni 7500. 7500 kutoka video mpaka Mbona tunakuwa personal? <laughs> So, waje ni malize, waje. <laughs> waje ni nionge. <laughs> so, nimefanya over 50 music videos. Hakuna hata mmoja. Yenye imekuwa kama chito ile watu wamekaribisha na wakasema he he he. However, what keeps me going is because me I enjoy doing it. One, then also uh, for me I have to get it right once. I'll get it wrong 50 100 times whatever, but kuna tu malisa fichito yangu itakam moja yes. na tutakana wewe ukini interview na kuambia sasa hii siku nilikuwa nimekanyagia Mungu nikasema hivi na hivi na hivi because wewe angalizi ngoma zingine zote umetoa mm. you've done you giving us your story umeishi kwa bed sitter umpata accident una perform una MC unafanya nini mpaka mm. wewe ulikuwa upload tu unasema ah mbaka umeniambia sasa uneka namba because hakuna mtu anaona sasa kuna anyway yes. then mali safi chito umebembeleza producer akafanya audio mm. ukabembeleza videographer mkatembea kwa mustuni muka shoot nini through all these hardships mm. And then ukaiweka tu hapo. Then boom. And your life is about to change my sister. Amen. Your life aida change bado? Premio, premio, premio. Come on. Come baby, come. <laughs> I want to go back to church. Eh. Premio come. Premio. Yes. Sasa maisha yako change bado? Maisha yangu imechange juu si Wi-Fi. Ah. Ya nakufa kwangu hivi. Hmm. Si kwa sababu ya revenue ya mali safi okay. ni kwa sababu ya fans Fever. na love yeah. ya watu wote walipenda mali safi okay. as we talk hii simu niko na pesa over 300,000 wanalenga kununua hiyo gari nirudi kanisani kabla tujaruka mwaka umesema kuna 300,000 yes Onyi. over <laughs> Onyi. <laughs> Fanyeni mambo yenu. <laughs> so mnajua? Eh. Hey. Yeah. Wanakuchangia. Wamenichangia. Nunua gari. Nunua hiyo gari rudi charge. Hawasemi hata nunua gari. Nunua hiyo gari rudi charge. Lengo Rudy yao ni nirudi charge. Uh-huh. Kama umemkanyakia Mungu na ameongea through mali safi, hata sisi ni watoto wa Mungu, wacha tufanye sehemu yetu kama yes. wana wa Mungu. Yeah tukurudishe church true yeah We? so unapata mtu kama the owner of the rocks hotel in uh-huh. eldoret uh-huh. waliniita juice on friday usiku na wakanilipia taxi na wakanihesabia 8000 
yenye niko nayo saa hii kwa nyumba Cashman na wakaniambia nunue hiyo gari rudi church Onyi <laughs> akona eight nyingine kwa nyumba <laughs> Eight thousand iko kwa nyumba sasa So side Onyi ni 380 <laughs> So, waka wakani, kuita kukwambia shika ndio hii wakaninilia chakula wakalipa taxi yani hata ukupanda lift ah, ah. <laughs> walisema itisha gari private car wakaniambia unajua kukugul niko na ushamba yangu ya umara nikaambia <laughs> gugul eh, eh, nikaambia nitawapigia ninajua hiyo so nikaitisha nikafika huko wakalipa na wakatulisha mimi na huyo driver na wakarilis driver wakaambia kama hako kwa mikono yetu hako sawa tuko na gari atafika nyumbani safe tuka enjoy sapa pamoja na hiyo family ya mzima boys wake pia wananipenda sana of course yeah so yeye mama na mzee wakaniongelesha wakanitakia mema wakaniambia you are welcome to my to our family be our firstborn gari lazima upate chat lazima urudi hii mwaka nayo nayo yes na wakania zaidi ya 8000 thank you the rocks hotel hona the rocks eldoret. hotel iko yeah. eldoret nikikuja eldoret na kuja kulala hapo the rocks karibu sana mm, wako na room si ndio mingi sana mpaka mm. amb eh. room yenye inatoshana na wewe ni 12000 ndio hiyo. Yes. Hii weekend niko matunda. Yes. Karibu so, the rocks. Yes. yes. So on uh, Friday mm. probably na za lala rocks alafu Saturday niko matunda tunafanya Mr. and Miss matunda. Karibu sana. Eh. Alafu wana launch the rocks 22 December. Eh. So kwa sababu wamenifanyia mema eh. mimi pia nitarudisha heshima ni pamoja na wao kuperform 22 December. Yes. Okay. Yes. Haya the rocks tuko na msani, tuko na MC. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Fanyeni mambo yenu. watu wanatafuta hivyo kazi. Imesha Sasa wote yeah. perform mimi nita host yes. alafu iwake. Yes. Eh. Na itawaka. Toka utoe hii ngoma. Hmm. Fever zinakuja tu. Hata saa hivi nyenye tumekaa naona kuna mtu ametuma 100 bob na akaandika credit. Yes. Haki mafans wangu huko wa. <laughs> mafans wangu. Mimi ndio yes. mtu tu mmoja mafans wangu anakuanga wa stingi. Yes. Hata mtu anize atatumia ka 50. Ndio huyu mwingine anaitwa Lawrence ametoka ametoa 3000 shillings you can confirm for yourself si uongo na uone hiyo 100 kwa you have received 3000 from Lawrence Njau yes. in US via Sendwave yes <laughs> hey, na balance yako wewe <laughs> unajiona kwingine kwingine eh? si unajua kwingine kwingine hey, iko <laughs> aki mara kwa daughter we ni bossi usituache hivyo <laughs> si muona 100 bob from Robert Wafula walai kuna nyingine ya fa, ni tusisome Fabian Chebet hey. Fabian Chebet. Anatuma, anatuma tu. Yes. Aki fever imekuja. Umeonakaniwa. Sababu ya mali safi. Swali ni, umesharudishia Mungu shukrani? Kwanza hiyo uweze uliza. Eh. Nilianzia Mungu. Okay. Alafu nika nikafuatisha na wazazi wangu. Okay. Sababu nilikuwa nime time sana, nimepitia mengi sana. Yes, yes. This year on July, my dad amekuwa na shida ya kuno split tangu last year. So anakujanga chika piteno hospital. Sasa akikuja lazima anipigie niende. Okay. So hiyo July nikamuuliza baba, huwa na kuombanga unibariki. Kwa sababu naona mimi nime time siendelei. Okay. Nikauliza yeye mate yako ya baraka ni ya ukweli baba. Akaniambia eh na akaniambia in fact wewe ndio mtoto wangu nimekupea mate kuliko watoto wote. Sasa venye mali safi ili trend na watu wakani appreciate nikasema nirudi nimpelekee kitu kwa sababu last year aliniomba simu touch screen na nasema anga nililia touch screen <laughs> so nikamnunulia touch screen ya 13000 mm. na nikamnunulia suti ya 3500 na nikaongeza nguo ya wanaume ile mzuri mzuri nikasema niende ni, ni kama naenda kuomba msamaha kwa sababu nilimdoubt mm. na pia niko na sister mdogo pia ako chini nikabless wote pamoja na mama 
ikasema from there sasa yenye watu wataendelea kunisupport ndio nitalenga ile gari nilim, nilimkanyakia Mungu so nikaanzia kwanza asante ama nifungu alafu nikakuja wazazi so from here yenye inaingia saa hii ni specifically ya hiyo gari ni rudi church <laughs> Nishike kidogo. Ah umejipanga vizuri. Thank you. Haya, sasa ulikuwa umehamishwa kwa bed sitter ukakuja kwa one bedroom yenye ulikuwa na accident. Yes, kuna jamaa alikuwa US, anaitwa mm-hmm. Philip Sang. Mm-hmm. Akaniamisha kwa bed sitter ya 4000, akaniweka kwa one bedroom ya 6500. Mm-hmm. Na akalipa for three months mpaka yenye ni kama kudwi. Eh. Mm-hmm. Eh, akalipa yote. Halafu after hiyo nimeingia hiyo nyumba akakaa for another three months. Hiyo ilikuwa the first three months kama bado hata sijaambiwa fanya mazoezi. Okay. Yeah, nilikuwa bado nilikuwa na bandage kwa mguu. Okay. So after wakati nimeruhusiwa kufanya mazoezi after six months ndo akarudia akanitumia pesa nifungue kaduka. Ni amukange niende nikae kwa sababu aliniambia ukiendelea kukaa kwa nyumba watu wataendelea kukusupport mpaka true eh, at least hata ukae na watu uongee ndio usahau hizo vitu mm. yeah ndio nikaenda kuzauza hiyo duka but siku siku kwa na events siku na anything ya kuongeza hiyo duka mm-hmm. but ilinisaidia nikakula kula mpaka at least ilikuwa na nini mhm aya so bado uko kwa hiyo one bedroom apan eh bado niko kwa hiyo one bedroom lakini hiyo one bedroom niliingia hiyo time niliibiwa last year tare kumi, tare 20 tarehe 20 mwezi wa 10 mm-hmm. nikaama kwa wengine nikatoka ya 65 nikaenda ya 7000 hii ya 7000 ndio niliingia january tare moja na nikakanyakia mungu from there na pia akanikanyakia sasa nikaanza kusema ama ni nyumba nimehamia ndio aitelewana na mimi <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, niliwaza mengi mpaka nikasema ama ni majina yangu sababu sisi tuko watatu kwa mamaangu mzazi. Okay. So my brother mkubwa anaitwa Philemon. Mimi ni second born naitwa Millicent. That born my sister anaitwa Phyllis. Sasa kwa hiyo harakati nilikuwa natipanga niende niulize baba ni jina yangu inaniandama kwa nini mmenipea jina Millicent? inaandamana na mamilioni na ni mimi peke yangu na sina hiyo mamilioni <laughs> I love fast bone bone mkampeji na inafanana juu Phyllis na Philemon ina ushano fulani lakini mimi peke yangu jina Jerotichin Marakwet inamaanisha blessings you are attracted to blessings so Millicent pia si unaona ni mamilioni tu And you it me pata 2 million <laughs> views. Kumbe yes. ilikuwa ni million kwa views. Yes. So, you know what Pesa happens? Pesa pia inakuja millions of money. Amen. 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 You yeah. know what happens is sometimes we think our timing is God's timing. Yes. Even myself in my life I always think that me kusema nataka nataka nataka. Mm. Then now later in life like right now I really want a Range Rover Sport. Yes. I really really like mimi mpaka kwa bedroom yangu kuna picha kubwa ya Range Rover Sport iko hapo. But later when I understood in life that mm. Once umeitaka and you put it out to God and the universe mm. then we just work hard. Ah. Kuna venye Mungu anafanyanga tu mambo yako unashtukia uko nayo. Imagine sasa vile alifanya mpaka mali safi ikatoka. But yeah. ukikwatu zile nimekukanyagia mimi naitaka leo naitaka leo sometimes it's not even the right time. Alafu ukisikia story yangu nikisema nimekanyakia usianze kufanya kama mimi. Anze kukanyagia Mungu. Uwezi jua connection yangu yeah, na yeye. Yeah that's true. Yeah. That's true. Juu mambo mazito nimepitia. Yeah ndio labda imeniweka karibu na yeye sana. True. Kwa sababu True. kuna wimbo niliimba last year, tuseme nili-upload this year mapema. Yeah. Inaitwa Kalaptana Mungu. Kalaptana Mungu inamaanisha uplift me O oh God. Okay. In the same song, song kwanza inaimba hivi. Kalaptana mu, Kalaptana Jesus, Kalapta. Wanwasa menyu Mungu egigera recharire na meaning god uplift me okay nimechekelewa niinue Mungu nimechekelewa alafu kuna stanza inasema 
meaning watu wameenda kwa waganga okay. na wamefanikiwa mimi nimekwama na wewe unibariki maana wamenicheka yes Deep. yes Deep. yes we na hiyo ni out of experience of course like nimeona watu wameenda na wakafanikiwa mpaka wananiambia wewe changa hapo Si umesema mtu alikama akakwambia unajiuliza mbona ngoma yako na mimi niko nao watu wananiambianga mbona wewe wacha mziki mimi in fact the same week ndio mm. nika record mali sasa kuna mama aliniambia uko na song nzuri tena na madharao mm. na asira uko yeah. na song nzuri lakini haujui kuji market mali sasa siku market when the heaven say yes nobody can say no amen yes. amen hata ufanye marketing na haijafika wakati wako haiwezi yes i've seen yes. me i've wasted so much money in marketing that is fine <laughs> <laughs> mimi pia na kuanzia leo hunter atufanyi marketing <laughs> tunakanyagia mungu fanya tu <laughs> fanya tu kwa sababu <laughs> ni vizuri kufanya no, no, lakini it's good, it's good, yeah. keep in mind that wakati wa Mungu ni wakati wa Mungu. True. Wakati mm. wa Mungu. Mm. That's true. By the way, kifika your time. Yeah. I always tell most of it, I have so many people in my DM. Oh, ni saidia ni fanye naambia pana. Mm. Wewe anza. If it's meant to happen, it will happen. And also if it's not meant to happen. In fact, watu wengi walikuwa wananiambia venye nili mark time sana. Fanya yeah. kola hapo ndio uende mbele. Ndio uende mbele. Involve watu ndio uomoke lakini mimi huwa najiambia yeah. sheep flock together but lions walk alone wewe <laughs> ndio hiyo mm. umemsikia i can repeat Aya. sheep flock together flock together but lions yes. walk alone walk alone and i am a lion wewe yes wow yes <laughs> waje sasa nikuulize hii story ya ku walk alone yes maliza vyo kwa wapi uko na mtu Juu hapo tukiongea ukasema ulikuwa unaombea Mungu na mimi Mungu haujaonekaniwa hujapata mtu kwani kikwaje Nilijaribu na 16 years eh nikatoka na 21 from there siko hai What do you mean 16 years? Yes. What do you mean? <laughs> like you are married. Yeah at 16 years nikatoka na 21 from wow. there. You are married when you're 16 years old. Yes. Primary no. kid. You are married off. Yes. Ama ni wewe uliyelope. <laughs> Unajua kuna ile ujuaji ile watoto ah mimi nataka tu mimi nime fall in love ama kunaelewa wazazi wewe enda uolewe hapana tuseme ni <coughs> situation yenye nilikuwa nayo ama hali ya maisha hali ngumu ya maisha ya kukua katika kwa mikono ya mama wa kambo oh. ndio ilinilazimisha okay alafu si unajua nyinyi pia mko sharp mnaonanga mahali kuna shida shida na kitu ni mahali safi kuna <laughs> Una take advantage. Sasa mimi nimeletwa kwa vita sio yangu. Wewe <laughs> <laughs> hey. ni mfano tu. Sasa huyu jamaa akakuja na take advantage. Wow. Yes. Na akapita na wewe. Tuseme tu ako take advantage kwa sababu mimi pia nilikuwa napitia mengi sana. Of course I'll take advantage. Yeah. Doesn't matter Exactly. What you're going through yeah. uh, marrying a child mm. that is is a pedophile. Yeah. So nikatoka na 21 kwa sababu How sabu, Eh? Yeah? Alikuwa na miaka ngapi? Alikuwa ananishindia 5 years. Tuseme by then alikuwa 24 mimi nilikuwa 16. Yes. Hiyo si 5 years, mm. but ni sawa. Eh, what alikuwa 24 mimi nilikuwa 16. Okay. Yes. Miaka kama 8. Yeah. Juu already alikuwa ameacha shule mimi nilikuwa bado niko primary. Alikuwa anafanya kazi? Ah. Ni drop out na kani drop kama vile aliacha shule. Akagwata <laughs> <laughs> kama shule. Yes. Mimba mtoto? Eh watoto watatu. Two girls one boy. Uko na watoto watatu? Yes. Wewe. Okay. Yeah, my mother. Okay. <laughs> Ata ikai? Yeah, ma- mama Sheila. Okay. Yes. Akina Sheila wako aje? Wako smart kama mali safi. Mali safi wako wapi? Wako kwao kwa baba yao. Oh, ulie za ukamwacha na watoto? Niliwaacha na watoto. Mm. Nilimwacha na watoto okay. kwa sababu nilikuwa najua nyumbani kwenye narudi hakuna mali yeah, nakaa. Yeah. Nyumbani kwenye narudi ni kwenye ilinitoa ikanisukuma kwa ndoa ya mapema. 
Okay. Nikajiuliza kama sikukaa vizuri na nilikuwa peke yangu na nilikuwa mtoto. Maji na watoto. Na saa hii nikirudi na hao watoto na sina mama. Yeah. Nikapima nyumbani na kwao nikasema heri kwao kuliko nyumbani. Okay. Na kweli nilipofika nyumbani nikakaa samans nikafokuswa nyumbani. Nikawa na lalalala kwa watu for some time. And then nika nikupe story yote. Twende nayo. <laughs> So vile nilifika nilikuwa najua hapa apata kalika kama haikukalika nikiwa mtoto. Yeah. Na mimi ni legit, legitimate child ya huyu mzee. Itakalika saa hii niko na historia ya kuenda kwa nyumba na kutoka. Na kwanza kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba nilipakwa matope nikapewa majina nikaitwa kahapa. So nilirudi kama mimi nilifanya ukahapa ndio nika nikatolewa nyumba kwangu of which it was a lie. Mwanaume akichoka na wewe atakosa kitu ya kusema ndio akutoe. Okay. So nikaona sita toboa. Nikalima nikawa naenda kuvuna mahindi. Ilikuwa season ya kuvuna mahindi huko kwetu. Nikaenda nikivuna mahindi the whole day ninawekewa hiyo 50 kilos kabla ija kuongolewa na leta na kuja kuongoa na anika. Nikasanya sanya hivyo alafu like two weeks nikapata 400 shillings nikakomboa shamba ya mtu karibu na mtoni ndio ilikuwa season ya nilitoka kwangu tarehe tatu mwezi wa kumi, 207 so ilikuwa season ya kuvuna na ningeweza kulima mboga ndio ingiana na january juu watu wengi walimi mboga hiyo season so nikakomboa hiyo shamba na 400 nikafieka juu ilikuwa msitu na nikiendelea kuenda kuvuna nikichukua hiyo nikiuza nikaenda kununua seedlings yenye iko ready kwa seed bed nikaenda kupanda nikiweka maji jua inyeshi by january 28 ilikuwa imemea vizuri nikalima manako sukuma na cabbage so 2008 january ilikuwa clashes ime, imeshika sana nikaivuna nikaleta itin nilikuwa na lenga Eldoret so tukafika njiani tukaambiwa Eldoret umenuka ikabidi tuende iten nikauza lakini Mungu akafanya maajabu nikauza kunia moja ya sukuma na 1500 nikauza manaku na 1800 so nikauza hiyo mboka yote na nikanunua paravin nikaununua omena na nikanunua credit so sababu ya hiyo hali ya maisha ilikuwa ngumu na mambo na clashes credit ningenunua ya 50 bob na nunua na 49 shillings naenda kuuza 80 shillings ndani na ilikuwa inaenda sana nikinunua ya 100 na nunua na 99 naenda kuuza na na 180 ama 150 inategemea so nikarudisha vitu si kurudisha pesa nikacheza na hiyo pesa mpaka 28 february 2008 nikajipeleka tailoring kapsoara so by then nilikuwa na over 13000 hivi nikaenda nikatafuta mtu wa kunitrain tailoring kwa sababu sina certificate nikalipa ya tailoring ya 3 months alinifanyia 2000 per month so nikalipa 6000 hiyo yenye ilibaki nikajinunulia nguo jinsi kwa na nguo na nikanunua simu yangu Motorola C13 second hand ulikuwa na simu 13 second hand Alafu nikaanza sasa kuingia training ya ya nini? Ya tailoring. So kuingia nilikuwa na commute kutoka nyumbani. Only one week wakachoka na mimi. Wakasema umechipenda sana umechifanyia mambo zako. Unataka anga uende shughuli zako jioni ukuje ukule yenye nani amekutafutia. Wow. Hivyo ndio nilifokuzwa. So nikafumilia for one man sababu ya Mateso nilikuwa napitia nikajua haraka hiyo ikanifanya nikajua haraka kushona nikafumilia mpaka April nikajua kabisa nikakuja kuitaita marafiki on a Sunday wakanichangia 12500 jua walikuwa wanaelewa shida yenye napitia yeah. wakakuta tu nikapiga chai na wakanichangia same day juu silali nyumbani nakataliwa 
but nilifanyie hiyo hiyo nini party nyumbani nikatoka nikaenda kulala kwa mtu sangurur alafu nikapanda matatu by then matatu ilikuwa mmoja hiyo ikipita imeenda hivyo na nikakuja Eldoret direct nikakuja kununua machine singer <laughs> nikanunua na 6000 na nikanunua mattress yangu nyembamba kadoko ni ukilala ni kama umelala chini <laughs> na blanket yenye ilikuwa fupi haiko inafika kichwa haiko inafika chagua penye utafunika yes funika kichwa sasa mugu. nilifunika mguu mm. lakini wenezili nikaenda cha baraso huko nikanunua jacket ya 70 pop ilikuwa mzito na ilikuwa na kofia ndio inisaidie juu juu blanket ilikuwa inafika hapa eh. maisha ikasonga nikaenda nikakomboa nyumba ya pawaso store ya pawaso ya 300 shillings kwa imekaa hivi so paridi inakuja tu na kuna hata carpet <laughs> na nikanunua sufuria moja kikombe moja ya plastic plate moja ya plastic kichiko moja mpaka sufuria ya plastic ah <laughs> sufuria moja kikombe moja ya plastic okay. na kijiko yeah. na plate sio sufuria okay. yeah so sufuria nilikuwa naanzia mboga nioshe nichemshe maziwa nioshe alafu nipike ugali Maziwa ya nini? Maziwa ya chai. Chai ya Mimi nimkale chai ya asubuhi. Au oh, unapika leo? Leo jioni napika kila kitu jioni juu naenda kushona. So tena chai baridi. Hapana, hmm. nikiamka nikimaliza ku, kupika ugali na na, na soki hiyo sufuria hmm. ndio nikiamua nikiamka kesha yake naosha nipike chai niende kazi. Okay. Eh. Okay. So kuna mzee fulani si kwa na hiyo uh, hiyo store iko kwa na stima. So akaninunia sijui inaitwaje hiyo ya mabati ya kuweka paraffin na iko na stamp. Hmm? Hiyo hiyo light. Koroboi. Yeah. Koroboi. Eh by then ilikuwa 15 bob lakini singe afford hiyo akaninunia na akanichazia mafuta mm-hmm. ya hiyo siku. Nikatumia wiki moja from there sasa watu wakaniletea repair kaanza kupata pata hiyo 30 bob 15 bob 25 hiyo 50 bob eh wewe yenye watu wamepitia eh mm, 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 mm. so hivyo mpaka sasa that was april 2008 2009 kutoka mwezi wa nane nikawa na hiyo wazo ya ku record okay. my songs kwa sababu tangu nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa naimbisha chorus ya Sunday school mpaka nilikuwa napeleka napelekwa kanisa ya watu wazima ndio nitishe chorus mimi ni mshiriki wa IIC okay. so umri yangu ya udoko ule mtoto wa ICD mpaka lower classes ningeitisha kila mtu angeitikia na kila mtu angetaka kumuona ni nani sauti na umri haiko inaendana <laughs> Kwa na kasauti. Yes, alafu primary pia nikiwa standard 4 nikakombose my first song. Sasa my time kulikuwa na mchango mchango ya mashule. So walikuwa wanaita mashule jirani wakuje wa entertain wageni wenye wanakuja kuchangisha pesa ya shule. Okay. So hapo ndio nilikompose song yangu ilikuwa inasema Asante wakeni kwa kufika pale Oh, kwa hivyo mtuchangie pesa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So nilikuwa najua niko talented. Okay. Alafu pia walikuwa wananikomboa niende niimbe kwa mashere. Hiyo umri mdogo wa lower classes. Mm. Na ninapewa kikombe ama class ama leso. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa malipo yangu <laughs> kwa sababu Mama nilikuwa, anachukua. Eh, obvious. Yeah. Eh, kikombe nakumbuka baba alichukua. Of course. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> na safari. Yeah, so nika record hiyo 2008. Na ilikuwa challenge pia nipate pesa. But kuna rafiki yangu daktari alikuwa anatoka Baringo. So alinipata kama na Shona Chebemu Tsenda na akanipenda. Alikuwa na watoto wadogo sana wawili. Hao watoto pia wakanipenda. So angeenda seminar ya kazi juu yeye alikuwa anafanya lab. Angeniambia tafadhali funga kazi ukuje unionee watoto. Na sikuwahi tisha anything. 
Lenye niliona ni challenge kupata pesa ya kurekodi hiyo first album nikaongea na yeye nikajielezea nikamwambia nataka nichukue loan na awata ni ruhusu juu na kitu kwa group yeye akachipin akaenda akakuja akasimama kwa niaba yangu na akakuwa karanta yangu ndio nikapewa hiyo loan 20000 nikaenda kurekod my first secular album ilikuwa inajulikana kama Dan Kipruto na hiyo first secular album ndio ilinifanya nikasoma nikaingia ECD college so niko na certificate ya ECD college sababu ya Dan Kipruto wewe yes ulikuwa unajituma you knew what you, what you wanted yes. fanye hivi nisonge hapa nifanye hivi nisonge hapa tuseme yeah. si mimi hata Mungu alikuwa anajaribu kunipeleka tuseme what god wanted to, you to be you must be you will be by force by fire by boss by force by fire or by boss by 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 <laughs> <laughs> because uh, yes nataka president mwenyewe uh, anipigie simu aniambie kuja state house to pick a selfie alafu nini fanyike mungu anajua from there no <laughs> <laughs> we? Yeah. So that's the only thing wana sikia una roho inataka tu. Yeye tu ani call mm. aniambie mara kwetu dota mwanamke tosha. Juu wakati ah. nilikuwa namtetea nilisema mimi ni mwanamke tosha. Eh, kwa campaign ya. Kuja to pick a selfie state house. Mimi pita pita huko ni smart nje huko. Forest sasa siku. But you know that si president anaku call kuna watu wanafanyia shughuli for example ukuja interview ni mimi nilikukall bora yeah. bora nikifika state house yeah. nipate yeye um, tuongee yeah. na yeye na vile tunaongea na wewe watu wengine wamenicall mm. lakini wewe ndio tumekutana na, na wewe si ndio okay. sasa hivyo ndio nataka bora tu nipate yeye <laughs> nikishapata yeye yeah. basi mungu anajua from there aya yes mafans wako wale wengine wenye wana watch show wana ku support ongea nao What Kwanza, do you still need? What do you appreciate vitu hmm. kama hizo? Kwanza nataka nishukuru fans wangu watatu na yeah. awataki ku kutachwa watano. Fans wangu watano. Yeah. Ama niseme tu watumishi wa Mungu, si at the pastors but God sent them. Yes. Watano. Yeah. Vile mali savi ili trend na nikafanyiwa interview kwingine na nikatoa ushuhuda wangu. Yeah. Watano waka reach out na wakasema sisi tunataka urudi kanisa before that first day mwaka. Ingewezekana hata 25 uende chat na hiyo gari unataka. Ndio wakaleta idea waanze ku reach out Chanda. watu wani changie. Ndio wao wenyewe wakaanza na wakaniambia usifungue group ya WhatsApp juu watu usikuize wapindi tena groups. Na wakasema atutaki baby jua kora wameniingilia wame sana okay. ukifika facebook wamefungua mingi kila mahali social media media wame, wamefungua mingi wakitumia jina yangu wana twist kidogo wamefungua so wakaniambia nipeane namba yangu mwenye amesikia ushuhuda wangu na angependa tusaidiane kwa hiyo kazi wanitumie kwa namba yangu 0710 99 88831 Walichakua namba to avoid our makatels. Na mimi sina manager, mimi sina broker. Wenye wananifanyanga connection ya kazi ni watu wenye wako na willing heart. But si managers wangu. Ni wale watu tu wako na roho ya kutaka kuniona mahali wako na roho ya kusupport kazi ya Mungu lakini si managers na si brokers so mtu yote asikudanganye kwamba yeye ni manager wangu ama yeye ni mtu anani connect na kazi okay yeah wow so if anybody is looking for an mc bado na mc si ndio vizuri sana uh, matanga harusi graduation birthday, birthday. Surprise wakati unataka ku propose uh-huh. that yes I do uh-huh. will you marry me <laughs> na kuja <laughs> na yonayo, pia yes. direct direct uh-huh. yes 
eh, wasipi wanataka ku support nama ndio hiyo yeah. watume tu hapo so nataka ni appreciate wenye already wametuma kuna yes. mwenye ametuma 2000 anatoka Mount Kenya alisema pia ange, ye ni msewa kanisa apendi kutambulishwa Okay. Watu wengi 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 mpaka America wengi sana sitaweza kuwatacha kwa majina na sema asante watu wa TikTok tukianza na Obi na mwenyewe Obi <laughs> thank you karibu karibu wenye wame watch yeah. wenye wamefikisha hiyo ma millions yeah. thank you wenye wame share kwa status yeah. wenye wame share link kuna wengine pia wamechangamkia Facebook Twitter wakaandika mambo mazuri sana yeah watu wa online media ama yes. online tv yes. wenye wame reach out ndio ni kuwe Nairobi kuna wenye wame ni support nimepanda ndeke for the first time in my life mpaka <laughs> nilikuwa nashikilia tu hizo nilikuwa <laughs> naona nje ndio ni kama ilikuwa inalalia upande wangu <laughs> na hata saa hii nikitoka hapa naenda ndege. kupanda ndeke Mwana... na imelipwa na inalala e, zaidi yako ilikuwa inalalia upande wangu <laughs> nilikuwa eight e 16 e. so kuna daktari alikuwa pande hii sasa mpaka kaniuliza ni mara yako kupanda ya kwanza kupanda ndeke nikamwambia eh akasema e. usistuke ukisikia umeshtuka unishikilie e. alikuwa anashikili <laughs> so ndege pia imelipwa na mafans yes hata saa hii nikirudi inishalipwa wewe yeah. saa hii unatoka saa ngapi navaa nitoke 6:30 6:30 jki ama wilson jki oh saa tukuache wewe uteke teke Ufike huko mapema. Wewe unani drop huko. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa so, nasema asante sana. Okay. Yeah. Jana tumekuwa na wengi asante sana. Jana nimekula vizuri, juice mm. nimekaribishwa na wengi. Yeah. Tum, nime, hii Nairobi nimekuwa tu na watu, watu, watu. Nimekaribisha sana. Yeah, nimekaribishwa kabisa. God is working. Kabisa. Eldoret nayo hata hii Nairobi kupita street ni ngumu. Nimejulikana mm. kwanza Nairobi. Mm. Do you mali safi? Mbona ni kwa naogopa? Na uko za watu kwa nangu wajaanza ku hustle so fai sai wana kusherekea labda kwa sasa tuweka kitu. Yeah. Tuonekane. Already wameshaanza. Ah. Yeah. Wameanza tuweka kitu? Eh ndio hiyo. Eh ameni add kwa group. Eh. eh. Karibu. Lakini hiyo yote ni baraka sababu ameona kitu. Ameona true, uwezo. True. true. Kwa hivyo uwe uwe uwezo itakuja soon na nitaweza okay. pia kurudisha mkono wow wow yeah yeah okay mm. sisi narudisha ni shukrani mm. asante kwa kupitia hapa asante for doing what you're doing for uniting kenyans mm. keep being the happy you hiyo furaha una smile you are jovial watu wanapitia shida mingi sana na tunaendelea ku support as much as we can pia mm. we want to see you get that premium mm. and you go and do god's work na uendele mm. eh pesa zinaingia my dad and call the call my sons eh dad and my sons <laughs> So mi nataka kukuomba tu kitu moja. Ndio tunamaliza kipindi. Hmm. Nataka tu tumalizie na maombi. E, utupeleke tu kwa baba kwa sababu we Mungu wako nimemuona <laughs> kwa umbali. Mungu wako ni kama kuna venye anafanya mambo yake. Nataka tu niseme hivi. Eh. Usidoubt Mungu. Yeah. Na God is real. Kwama na Mungu sio miungu. Yeah. Kwama na Mungu mwenyewe sasa. Yeah mwenye aliumba hizo mamiungu ma mamiungu yes so. kwa sababu hata hizo mamiungu inamwabudu huyu Mungu mmoja mwenye mimi nilimkanyakia na ame come through so. yes haya tupeleke huko haya tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu ninasema ni asante mfalme asante mfalme wa amani asante kwa nafasi hii asante kwa obina asante kwa kila mtu ambaye amebariki kazi yako Asante kwa nchi yangu Kenya, asante kwa watumishi wako wote, asante kwa familia yangu, asante kwa uwai wangu, asante kwa kila jambo mfalme. Ninaomba tunapoondoka sasa uendelee kutubariki, utulinde katika jina la Yesu, nimeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Asante. Thank you for watching. Good night. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Mwah.